you know, Daniel, you uh, uh, you wrote a nice article, or or one of your analysts did on uh, Ron did on, on exactly what's going on here. So uh, let me let me first talk about what um, uh, what what Iceberg is. So uh, uh, Iceberg is a uh, open source. Basically, it's a a table structure uh, that's that's open that essentially allows you know whether you're using um, Spark, Trino, Flink, Presto, Hive, Impala, uh, to work on these same tables. So what that does, so think of this as an industry standard uh, table methodology that you can plug uh, all those different tools uh, on top of. Uh, while there have been bigger announcements this year by Cloudera, I, I like this one because it's pure to their strategy which is to take uh, open source technologies, uh, I would say put enterprise grade quality and stability uh, behind it and bring it to the biggest enterprises with the most amount of, of data out there. So it's true to the strategy and, you know, this is all about data, which that's Cloudera is all about data uh, and whether, you know, you want to manage that data end to end on prem uh, or in the public cloud, or even managing data that comes through a SaaS application, you know, Cloudera is doing a, a good job pulling it all together, kind of one-stop shop for data management. Yeah, I think that's exactly right, Pat. I mean, this is the hot new, uh, you know, era of Apache Iceberg, and we're seeing it talked about quite a bit, you know, if you're in the data space. Um, and, you know, Cloudera's got this ecosystem and openness uh, approach that it's focused on. And right now, as competition kind of comes at Cloudera and all the sort of legacy and traditional big data warehouse and data lake uh, players, it's important for Cloudera to continue to, to innovate, Pat, and to innovate and deliver um, both openness and interoperability. Um, you know, and, and I think that's what they're doing. I mean, they're working across the hypothesis. Uh, Hypache, Apache, <laughs> Apache portfolio, you know, and, and they're fo focused on, on, like I said, openness and the evolving requirements that, you know, their customers are seeing, um, you know, the integrations, uh, the data warehouses are, are significant. They're working with Oracle, they're working with IBM and Netaza, Teradata. Um, so, and they basically are functional in the multi-tenant environment that most companies are running in. So, you know, the, Cloudera challenge is that, you know, after it went private, it's been a little quieter, a bit, a bit out of the, the center of the news. But again, going back, Pat, to when they made the decision to go private, I believe it was fundamentally decided so the company could reorganize, uh, recalibrate, work on innovation, work at a pace that uh, fit the company's long-term strategy. And I think that they're doing that. Um, is that going to happen overnight? No. I mean, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work. But I do think that, uh, you know, what CDP is building is going to basically get them over a hump if they continue to push forward with that hybrid mentality and with that more SaaS-based approach that they're trying. They're trying to make Cloudera more digestible. They've already won that sort of top, top of the market data uh, world, but what they're trying to do is say, hey, how do we compete with the, you know, hyperscale cloud data offerings? How do we compete with, you know, some of the born on cloud data warehouse, data lake solutions? And I think that's what Cloudera is doing. Again, we aren't going to have as much evidence as we used to have because we're not going to get the same reporting metrics as we once did. But I like what they're doing. I like that they're aligning with the most you know, important technologies for data, tech, uh, data warehouse, data lakes. And I like that they're open and integrate with all the big data warehouses on a, on a global basis. So, you know, good move forward. Uh, a lot to watch here. Again, we're going to have to kind of read between the lines with Cloudera going forward. But uh, the progress seems to be moving in the right direction and keep talking about that here, Pat, as those, as that becomes a bit more evident with the, hopefully the customer wins and other data that you get when you don't get the earnings data. Yeah. And by the way, one thing I, uh, I mistakenly glossed over uh, was that this is the first open data lake house that's available. If you define open data lake house of having an open table, an open table set, right? So uh, I like, you know, first are important in the industry. Uh, if nothing else, to <laughs> reinforce your your leadership. So, um, hey, Cloudera Apache Iceberg goes GA. Uh, 